The overall goal of this procedure is to inject a solution into the peritoneal cavity of the adult zebrafish. In this example, we will inject glucose. In our lab, we use this procedure to study blood glucose homeostasis. This is accomplished by first weighing the fish to determine how much solution to inject per gram of body weight. The second step of the procedure is to anesthetize the fish with cold water. The third step of the procedure is to transfer the fish to the microscope stage and inject. The final step of the procedure is to return the fish to its tank for recovery. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show changes in glucose homeostasis through measurement of blood glucose levels. Hi, I'm Mary Kinkle from the Laboratory of Victoria Prince in the Department of Organismal Biology and Anatomy at the University of Chicago. I'm Stephanie Ames, also from the Prince Lab. Today we'll show you a procedure for intraperitoneal injection into adult zebrafish. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study the regulation of blood glucose homeostasis. So let's get started. To prepare fish for injection, start by transferring the fish to a clean tank and withhold food. Fast the fish for 24 hours to empty the intestinal bulb contents and 72 hours to reduce blood glucose to baseline levels. The density used in this protocol is 10 to 12 mixed sex population fish per 9 litre tank with three layers of marbles. The marbles sequester eggs so that they are not eaten. Remove eggs and waste daily by siphoning the tank bottom. Next, prepare Cortland salt solution using 124.1